Welcome back for another leveling guide episode. I think I am going to start here at Belaya. My whole plan... I did not mean to light that. Holy cow. My whole plan here is to... Um, I was thinking we would... I was thinking we would go to Belaya and do some float fishing, but I'm sitting here looking at the time, we're, we're logging in, it's 7 a.m., we could probably try to catch a couple of decent fish here, and then we'll go float fish for the rest of the day, maybe. We'll see if we can make that a reality or not. minute grayling it looks like. We'll see how it goes here. But I mean, you know, probably ought to spend a couple episodes just focused on making some silver. Get one more upgraded feeder rod, then go try to hit some bream for a while at Old Bird. But we could do this every once in a while, too. I mean, I really did enjoy this here at Belaya. See how it goes, though. I just don't want to blow lots of silver on stuff here at Belaya because the key to getting ready for quarry at least in my mind is going to be getting everything set getting our ground bait leveled up our bait harvesting leveled up and being able to really hit the bream and um, you know whatever else we run into at Old Berg really effectively We'll try this one more cast, and then I might throw the snowflake out one time, but it's, it's just not looking like we're doing much here, so. Maybe this isn't the play today. Still getting points. Yeah, we definitely do need to craft more tea. I don't want to sit here forever. Uh, and I don't actually know how many packets we have left, but this is something we want to do. Is it just me or is that really loud? Know if that changed the volume at all. There we go. Hmm. 
We will eventually want to get coffee going as well, but we've made it this far on tea alone, so I don't know that we even worry about it until we're worried about catching fish that are going to actually require some inner energy recuperation during the fight. I know this is a bit of a weird way to spend time, but this is what you got to do to level up. All these pieces are important in RF4 to be a fairly well-rounded player and to be able to keep digging, to be able to get your comfort back so that you can get your energy back in big fights against big fish. So again, we're not going to sit here and do this forever, but we'll make a few since we built the fire. We spent the money on the matches in the wood, so we might as well get a few tea out of it. Just fast forward a few seconds if you're dying here. it right all right Ooh. how often do we catch two, uh, a grayling over that size though with, with this gear not very often So as tempting as that is, we're not going to get distracted. Let's go see if we can catch anything. I want to use our uh, pearl barley. Uh, we also can try like casters and bloodworms, but I want to really focus on actually, you know, we might try the double shot here. Do we have 19 size hooks? I don't want to use 19s. Is that weird? Well, we've got 20s, right? So that's a little weird to specifically want 19s. I also wouldn't mind having like a little better quality hook for this, at least on one of them. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one 19 and pearl barley and blood worms. Let's um. Do see what we've got going here. Probably nothing we're gonna catch unless the gudgeon are really active. So what I'm thinking is we um we uh, try this out as long as it's decent. We'll sit here and do this during the day. If I'm still feeling like we can keep going a little bit, we might go to mosquito for the nighttime and I don't know, see if there's a rough order. Or Go try the old green spot. See, just we'll see what else we can do. Again, we just want to keep making consistent silver if possible. Let's see if it's too hectic with the current and the bite rate. Do the double shot here. All right, we're going 17 centimeters. At least on this one, we are. Oh no, about 70% out. I think I might do like 35 on this one. Shoot. Oh, we got it. Ooh! <gasps> Okay, that is 
absolutely terrifying. I don't know that we're going to be able to get it in. It's like we're at a standstill. Oh my goodness, we're going to get it in. It's a chub. Nasty chub. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. Remember, it's important to have different float colors. Unless you're just really good at remembering like where the lines are connected and everything. Because in some cases, you do want to be able to respond pretty quickly. So, we'll change the second one to a higher... Actually, we have flies too. We could just put flies on there. On the second one. If, um... Oops. If blood worms don't pick up. We'll just fully embrace the bleak. I'd like to be able to catch the day some too. Which is why I was thinking... I'm going to go to 22 on this one with the blood worm. See if that makes a difference. Okay, maybe that did make a difference. It's a nice bleak, by the way. Maybe I should start... Ooh. Also a nice bleak. Maybe I should start turning them more like this when we put them down. Both of those bites came in later than expected. Yeah, look at this. We're on a bit of a bleak spot. We don't mind that. I mean, I'd love to catch some nice days, but... Holy bleak. That is a nice little bleak there. I'm going to just pretend that that little glitch with that last cast didn't happen. So we're not going to even mention it. Another chub. Yeah, this is perfect. Right now, it seems like the perfect bite rate for, you, for you doing both. And if you only have one float rod, remember a second one is very cheap for this size fish. Uh, if not free, I mean, you could use the free ones, but you probably do want to get another decent one. But it's very cheap. It would not take very many fish at all to pay for, pay for that, um, that float rod. I'll tell you what. I don't want to do this for too long because we'll miss a bite, but what are the days biting on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We do want to try that. Casters is what we want to try. All right, that's another really good bleak. All right. Let's put casters on and let's go to 50. Let's see if we can't scare a dace out of here. I don't know if the dace are here or not. This might not be the dace spot. But I want to try. Which one's going to go first? I think we messed up the bite on the casters. Oh my goodness, these bleak are so good. Consistently good. So 
that chub was how big? 1.9 kilos. That was terrifying. Oh, there's a fish on there. That's weird. Oh, there's a fish on there as well. Oh, it didn't. Didn't take. Still no... Still no days though, right? That is a nice... Oh, we can use bolo rods now. That's interesting. What's the cheapest bolo rod? It's actually kind of tempting. With these chubs in the water. Do one bolo, one regular. I don't know. Unnecessary, but... It would be kind of fun just to... Kind of show you how bolo rods work. What if we cast it a little closer one time? That's a lot closer. I didn't mean to go that much closer. Big, big juicy bleach. Big juicy bleach. We should have waited and done this at night. But I thought this would be fun. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out the bowler rods just so I have something to think about while we're fishing. We go even deeper on the day swim. I'm trying to think. We're so close to level 14. A couple more grayling, we would have hit 14. For sure. There isn't a um, bolo rod here, right? Cheapest bolo rod. I would definitely use the four meter so we get the thickest fish out of the water. I might go five meter actually. All right, th 3.8 load capacity. Cost us 64 silver. 
You want to see what bowler fishing's like? I don't know. How much silver we made? How quickly are we going to be making silver doing this? 33? That puts us at 90, basically. Let's see how we do for the rest of the day and see if we can figure out something at the Speedo tonight. And then maybe we'll experiment with a little bolo rod fishing. We'll see. We really should be disciplined and buy the feeder rod upgrade first. Put the um, the depth at to catch. How about one meter? Try to catch a dace on the on the um, casters. If that does anything. I'm really liking this 19 size hook with the pearl barley. The bite rate is still really good. And we've gotten some decent size bleak. Considering how low level we are, we don't have sandwich bait yet, obviously. Which is, if you don't know, is where you can put two baits on the hook. We've got very cheap starter gear, and honestly, we're doing pretty reasonably well. Now, if a high-level player comes to this spot with fluorocarbon and all that, you're going to be killing it. But, even for a low-level player, you can do really well in this spot on Bleak, it seems like. get a bite on our on this one this time I'm gonna switch that one to a 24 hook maybe the dace don't like the larger hook the bleak seem to be fine with it I already had a 19 size hook, but I had it on the um, one of our feeder rods. Maybe not. It's always good to have an extra small hook like that, though. There we go. See that? The base. I thought there was a fish on there, but it was just bouncing a little bit. I don't think it was a marker dace, but it was a dace. So we're at one meter depth and went to smaller hooks. Uh-oh. Missed a bite shoveling.
really. I bream. A little small. Uh, but it was a white eye bream. Pearl Barley's killing it though. You could argue we should just go Pearl Barley times two for sure and just catch as many good bleak as we can. I'm fascinated by the, uh, by the dace, but it just doesn't feel like this is the spot for dace. Might actually do better up at the start of the map on dace, I don't know. Up near the bridge. We're getting some good bites when I throw it up here at an angle. A lot of times we're getting pretty early bites on the bleak at least. Days are just really slow. All right, let's embrace the bleak. Oh wait, we're 
embracing the bleak, we want to we want to go light. So uh, very low depth. Oh, that was a quick bite on the flies. We also have a smaller hook on. We'll have to watch if the flies are catching tons of undersized ones. Maybe we up the size just a little bit. Let's try it to a 22. We'll see. Some of the biggest bleak I've caught have definitely been on size 24, so I don't, I'm not sure that's the answer, but. Body record white eye dream on float. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. back into those markers. We've kind of been on a rough run here. Maybe morning time is the way to do it. We're not hitting marker right now. there. nibbling at this one but it didn't seem like it was a bleak it was a slow nibble Level, big bleak. I think that the, at least right now in this spot, I think the pearl barley is just straight up doing better than flies. That's what it seems like, and pearl barley is a lot cheaper. I mean, I say it's cheaper, it's something we need to make anyway, so. It, it also is cheaper. Flies are a little on the pricey end, to be fair. first fish was that gigantic chub.
the dace again. Small dace, though. Nothing to write home about. Let's try to get one more marker bleak before we go to the market. One of you's got to pop under right here. It's getting late. I need it to happen. Come on. Stay with it. There we go. Come on back. Ah, uh, you know you want it. Did it really go away? Away, away? Seems like it did. that way all right I enjoyed that fishing with two rods there seemed about right that seemed about right stuck in a tree So what, did we squeak out 50 silver in about, what, three-fourths of a day, maybe half a day with the running back and forth? We definitely started late because of our experiments at Belaya. Forty-three silver. We did not squeak out 50. Okay. It's all about the cafe here at Mosquito right now. What's the cafe saying to us? Is it telling us anything good? Okay. Where do, we, where, where, where do we think we can catch the rough? Where's our best chance at rough after reset and everything? I honestly have no idea. it out there.
Why don't we have, um, like we should have other feeders. Let's see what this is. Is it a rough? It's a perch. I'm kind of confused. Alright, there's another feeder. Also, where our that is also where our line was. I think that is a rough this time. The only thing I can think of is did we snap something that I'm not remembering and we lost the cage? I think that's a rough as well. Yeah, we do not have another cage. 4.8, that's way too much. There's been catching them over here let's just let's just do this We just want to try to hit this rough order if we can. Either one of them, honestly. Even the small one would be fine. Not a rough. Also a rough, unless it's a white bream, I guess. Okay. 
So far, so good. Plenty of time left. We just need to hit him. I think it's on there. Coulda, woulda, shoulda been a rough. So, if it's a 30 silver cafe order, which I didn't really look, it could be a little less than 30. But we potentially get. 30 more silver and end up with whatever 70 80 silver for the day not bad that's definitely getting us in the right direction as long as we don't get sidetracked on bolo rod fishing right it's really hard to see the bites on these little guys they hardly show up so we don't have any large enough for the bigger order, so we're probably only getting the smaller order, if any. be a rough it's pulling a little bit let's try throwing let's try throwing red worms on here for a minute at least on one of them I don't want to totally cut off the rough but see if they come in any larger If the goal is just the smaller order. I'll tell you what, let's go see what the cafe order was. I think it was just, we just needed 20, one, 20 gram ones, right? For the smaller one. So good, we just keep getting points on digging. Yeah, oh, it's only 28 silver still though. Yeah, none over 70. I mean, that seems like a pipe dream, right? We can go ahead and finish this sucker off and we won't even have to use any marker sized. That's 28 silver, we're up to 129. That is awesome. That is awesome. So I'd say next episode, as long as we catch some bleak or dace or, you know, hit some rough or in a cafe order or something, We'll be able to get that next feeder rod and then maybe start checking for some bream spots at Old Bird. Start saving for some um, stuff to troll with at Quarry, right? Wait, is that a real th real thing? 106, 123? Where is that? Somebody know? All right, clearly we're not getting the larger rough order. 
So let's just pull these in. Let's see if we can find 106-123 real quick. Ooh, that's a nice size one. That's actually perfect for the uh, larger order, but that's our first one. So I'm still going to assume that we're not getting there. Somebody in chat, sorry. Um, Noodle Dude said 106, 123 for Leak. All right, did we get a nice size rough on the red worms? Because we did, this might change things. Does it really though? Probably not. Uh, that's not a rough at all, I don't think. It's a little mini bream. All right, 106, 123, is that what we said? Yeah, let's see, let's see what that is. I think that's around on this other side, isn't it? Let's see if there's really bleak there, because isn't there like a really easy bleak order here as well? It's probably why somebody in chat was asking about that. Yeah, it's 6.92, but you, I mean, you can catch the smallest bleak possible. I'm also just curious, like, is this spot any good? 106. I have no idea. Wait, that's where we just were at, at winding, right? About to go on a wild goose chase, aren't I? There's no way that's Mosquito. Alright, if there was going to be Bleak at Mosquito, let's just try this real quick. It'd be like right here, wouldn't it? Mosquito, you pretend like you're fishing for frogs, and then you occasionally catch a bleak. That's basically how that happens. chance this is a bleak? Nah. No chance. This either. Alright, so it's probably not here if there even is one. I mean, I... Ugh. I, um... I think it's often hard to find consistent bleak spots at Mosquito, but they do sometimes... Play, uh, they do sometimes pop up. They're just not usually anywhere near as steady or good as like winding bleak spots. It's not impossible to find them, but I'm not sure this is going to be it. That's a frog, right? 
You ever seen something jump around like that? Holy cow. Which we're fishing over here in the lilies. It's not a huge surprise. But you just hope that maybe occasionally a bleak will sneak in. Not looking like that's going to be the case though. Obviously the float fishing is not going to be near as good, but it is kind of nice for a change to not worry about like resetting your float rods every few seconds because you're, uh, well, look at this little frog spot we're at, uh, because you don't have current here. All right, this is clearly not a bleak. This is more like a roach or crucian, it's crucian. Two froggies, uh. All right, we'll give it one more second and we'll wrap it up here. Might be the best fish we caught all day. Nice size roach. Seven, 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 the perfect fish. We should try that roach spot over across the across the lake over there. See if it's still working like it was before the update. Yeah, it's just too slow. All right, let's don't waste our time. Another little spot, by the way. Hoping we might discover a little bleak spot, but it's not looking good. Didn't we occasionally get bleak during the winter event? Right off the dock? Like if you had. I'm trying to remember. I feel like I did occasionally see bleak over there, but. Might be remembering wrong.
to in a minute here. Was there a, a frog order? I don't think so, but I never really look at frog orders because I assume I'm not going to ever catch frogs. There's no, oh, there is. And we did have it. It's only one and a half silver, but frogs aren't worth anything, so we'll take that. Frogs aren't worth anything unless you can cut them into bait and then catch a burbot with it. not necessarily a bleak biting on our pearl barley there's so many roaches and stuff right here in this spot it could totally be what it is but oh it is a bleak maybe we can get this order done real quick it's just too bleak at 20 for six silver right i think that's what it was you like that pearl barley <laughs> this is not it. This is not it at all. What size hook do we have? Why is just not doing it, huh? This could be it. bounce around that means you're not a bleak take it we will be able to tell if they're a bleak oh that's not a bleak go away oh go away Are you a bleak? Ah, you're not a bleak either. Oh my goodness, these crucians. family. Although the bite rate here is not bad. <laughs> Tiny hooks though. It's just because it's morning. This wouldn't be as good in the af like after morning time's over I don't think this size hook at least that's a sleeper a little more exciting still not a bleak though don't be nibbling with sleeper I see you I see you Woo! 
might as well grab Daniel UK on a 104 kilo catfish. That's a roach. Can't see it. Maybe there's a chance. Uh, negatory. Way too big. Just get it out of its mouth. No. All right. The ropes. To be fair, catching a lot of fish in a short amount of time here. That glare. Crucian again. Leave it alone. it looks like. It's definitely not a bleak. Could be a roach. I just can't see it clearly, but I think it's a creature. Oh, it's a fat boy. It's a roach. Oh, come here. Where are you? It's over a kilo, by the way. What is this? Uh-oh. Was that a bleak? <laughs> Couldn't see it. We're going to make another, like, you know, small amount of silver just from doing this, I guess. Sleeper. Right? Or a tiny crucian? I think it's a sleeper. Very small sleeper. Sort of, you can see the sleepers have their own little bite pattern. They don't take it quite as quickly as the bleaks typically do, but they definitely don't seem to nibble as long or as weirdly as crucian gibbles and roaches. The only reason why I'm still doing this is because we might accidentally, like, trip into one of the other cafe orders with these, like, crucians and stuff we're catching. So just in case that happens, I'm like, oh, it's kind of fun. Let's just keep doing it for a few more minutes. Oh, that's a crucian or is it a roach? If I had binoculars, I could tell. The glare is just a little weird on the water. Now we got two fish on. That second one, I can't tell what it is at all. I really don't think it's a bleak though. I'm gonna put a fly back on this one just for a minute. There's just not as many things that'll eat a fly. So if the bleaks are over here, you would think that maybe the fly will suck it in. I don't know if baby flies don't work in the same way as a mosquito like they do in winding though. Where are we at? 130? I mean, we're one lucky ca you know, cafe order and a few fish away from being able to get that other feeder upgrade. The next feeder upgrade. There we go. That's a bleak. Come to Papa. Yeah, fly never did work, did it? All right, let's see if I'm right about the, I think we just needed two at 20. Let's see if we got anything else, or if we're like one fish off, we could try to finish it real quick. Uh, bleak order, 
6.9 silver. I like it. Sleeper order. 11.6 silver. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I kept doing it. We just like tripped into some cafe orders there. And it looks like the, um, the Crucian one has gone off, which is unfortunate. But still, that puts us at 149. This puts us at 167. Feel some old bird calling our name. If we have enough to travel, we might not have enough to travel. All right, we want to go feeder fishing start 149. Let's unpack that sucker. And all right, let's get stuff set up. Let's see. We don't need anything off of that or that, and that one's already set up like that. Okay, so let's take that off, and so we'll go one, two. Now I'm thinking, yes. All right, let's look at this. Alright, this has got 4.8 line. 4.8 line, which is fine. This has got 4.8 line and a, feet, a lead, uh, fluorocarbon leader on there, which, you know, we don't have to have the leader. It does help a little bit, maybe. Why don't we take the leader off of this one and put it on the other one? This one's got 3.1 line. We can go up to 4.8. We're right at load capacity. Um, it's not my favorite, but it'll work in a pinch. I guess what I'm saying is... We're pretty much good for... Giving Old Berg a try. Like, this third one's not ideal. You know, we kind of want to save for another feeder rod, but it'll get us started. Um, obviously, one thing we do need are classic feeders. We'll just get the cheap ones. And we'll stay at 30 grams just to be consistent for now. Oh, I guess we already had. Okay, so I just got an extra one. That's fine. Uh, we have 12 silver. How much did it take us to travel? 7.19. So we could do it. We could go fish for bream at Old Bird. Or fish for whatever at Old Bird. In our next video. I like it. So next step, level up. Ground bait, bait harvesting, and then start saving for trolling quarry gear. All right, tight lines everybody. Thanks for watching, hope this has been helpful. I uh, appreciate all the support. Let me know how your leveling experiences are going and I will see you next time.